rally to you on this other development here. The House Committee investigating January 6th says they're interested in some of the things that were not true that Newt Gingrich said uh, about the 2020 election. Let me play just a little bit of that, keeping in mind these are things that were not true that Gingrich said. Go ahead. This looked like a setup to steal the presidency by the Democrats. And they're trying to steal the presidency, and we should not allow them to do that. I think that it is a, a corrupt, stolen election financed by people like George Soros. Okay, truth sandwich here. There was no evidence the 2020 election was stolen. Explain why the committee, it, presumably it is comments like those, that give some background and context as to why the committee wants to talk with Gingrich now. Yeah, Hallie. Well, committee chairman Benny Thompson lays out a few reasons why the committee wants to speak with Gingrich in this letter that was sent to him uh, last night. Uh, Thompson says that the committee has email evidence uh, that the former House Speaker and longtime Trump ally was advising uh, members of Trump's 2020 campaign to run these TV ads uh, that were pushing false claims of election fraud, specifically uh, these false claims that Georgia election workers were smuggling in suitcases of fake ballots into these polls locations after the committee says Gingrich knew that these election workers were already facing death threats. Uh, Thompson says Gingrich deliberately incited anger among voters by doing this and says, quote, he attempted to cast doubt on the outcome of the election after voting had already taken place. Uh, this letter sent to Gingrich also talks about an email uh, that Gingrich sent to former White House Chief of Staff Mark Meadows the night of January 6 about decerti decertifying rather the election results. Uh, that was after it took hours to clear the Capitol to make sure it was safe for lawmakers to come back inside to finalize the process of certifying the election results. Uh, Thompson says that Gingrich in this letter, quote, uh, thought of the attack on Congress and did not even pause to, uh, did not even pause his relentless pursuit. Uh, so as far as what happens now, the committee is asking Gingrich to preserve all of his communication with the Trump campaign, the White House, the former president himself around the time of the election. Election, and they're asking him to voluntarily appear for this transcribed interview with the committee of uh, the week of September 19th. Uh, judging from uh, Gingrich's past comments about the committee, you played some of uh, his comments about the election at the top there. Uh, he has actually called the committee in the past, quote, a lynch mob. So judging by his former comments about the committee, this may not be a seamless process for committee members, Hallie.